Y'all ready to unbox some stuff? Unboxing Housewife Sunday. Unboxing. Let's just get into my look for a minute and get into the new nails. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's unbox some stuff. We love him so much. This is my sugar baby, the love of my life. And we're here because we have an unboxing. I decided to bring Hustle in the mix because like, I feel like I was getting a little boring. And I'm like, who doesn't want to see Hustle the Frenchie, the cutest Frenchie in the whole wide world? Say hi to everybody in YouTube world. Say hi. He's going to say hi. I'm going to put him down because we got an unboxing to do. What's up? Woo! We have two. Unboxings to do, and we love unboxings here at Housewife Sunday. Um, I just got my nails done, they look great, and we're unboxing two products, two of them. So it is the fall. I'm was super excited to um start buying boots, and the first boot that I have up for the fall, I, I plan on purchasing three boots. And this is one of the, out of the three that I do plan on purchasing before the end of the year. And I've already purchased it. And it is truly a gem. So I want you to make sure that you subscribe. Boop, subscribe and also like and comment to um, my page. And if you've been supporting me, I thank you so much. We have so much fly stuff happening. You have no idea how fly this page is going to get. Because we are all very wealthy, lovely, glorious housewives. So, first thing we're going to get into is some Chloe, some Chloe. Now, let's discuss Chloe. I have absolutely, I have absolutely, you see, it's a big, it's a big girl box. I have been a fan. I have, Chloe has been growing more and more on me, and I have been loving Chloe even more. Um, I'll say about three years ago, I started to really get into Chloe and purchase. I purchased some couple of sandals, a couple of sunglasses, but I think now I'm going to start getting in more into Chloe. Um, I've always loved their signature scent. That's one of my favorite perfumes is the Chloe signature. And um, I just, I just love, I love their trademark nude, cream, brown, like a sandy brown type of vibe that they always stick with. Um, that is one of my, one of my mood board colors. So I was just, I just had to get these. And if you know me and if you've been following, you know, the green is an obsession for me i have been absolutely obsessed with green so without further ado let's get to unboxing so these the price point on these boots um these are the betty the betty the betty the betty which is a new style of boot that chloe just came out with this season this is the betty rain boot and we're going to talk about this in a size 40 the price point on these were 4.95 um, and, uh, they are a forest green. Wait till you see them. 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 So we're going to stand up, get into the body. We're going to stand up for the unboxing. We got the Chloe that we're going to take out of there. Look at these babies. It's the detailer for me. So we have the Chloe tag in the back. We have the nice square black. And okay, so let's discuss these. These are supposed to be rain boots. Um, I can say in Southern states and states that don't experience snow, you can wear these year round, but these would not be able to be able to be worn um, when there is snow. Cause they do, they are thinner, but let me take off the, the, the cushion in here. Um, so you can see they're not the thickest inside get into the chloe on the side i love we love to wear luxury pieces that are um that don't have the name just plastered all over the place but these are 
These are definitely a must have. So the baby blue comes in several colors. Colors it comes in pink. Um, it comes in like a off, like kind of whitish, grayish. It comes in this forest green. It comes in. There's also a different style of the Betty Boots that comes in a blue, uh, brown and a tan, and I think black. Black was at Saks. I purchased these from Saks Fifth Avenue, um, here at um here in Atlanta, Buckhead, um, at home, and I just absolutely love them. I just absolutely love them. So, um, they got a little bit of the paper pieces on there. So, the things that I loved about this boot is that it had a heel. Because I told you I'm still a heel girl. Um, and also, I love the square front of the boot, too. Um, and then I love the back. I love that you can see the small Chloe detail here. And then you got the Chloe detail here. So, these are definitely a buy. I will, This is a great price point for someone who is... Um, want to make a luxury purchase but don't want to spend too much. Um, I grabbed them because I love them. I honestly were not gonna give them, get them because I felt like because they were so ch they they were cheaper that they were gonna be over the market was gonna be oversaturated with them. But I have yet to see um anybody that's like overdoing them on social media. So I would give these a ten out of ten for purchase. Um, these are definitely a piece that I recommend go getting. They do also have them on the Chloe site. They're kind of sold out of a couple of sizes, but uh, you could also catch those, catch these on net or on Farfetch'd, and you'll be able to order them from um, a boutique overseas. The bottom of them I love so much. We got Chloe here on the bottom. Um, I mean, this boot is a very heavy boot. It's not, it's not a light boot. So that's why I say it's kind of giving me like high-end room rain boot. It's giving me very luxury rain boot. And we like, we like luxury rain boot. So I would, like I said, I would get these a 10 out of 10. Price point was $4.95. Um, and this is just, just, just something, a little filler that I kind of got that I could wear with jeans um, for the fall time and also going into winter. So I absolutely love them. Oh, Chloe always gives you these really, really nice dust bags. Um, I am a dust bag connoisseur, baby. I'm big on my dust bag. So they always give you this really nice dust bag that you can put. Um, I don't know why they don't give you two. I feel like these boots are so heavy that they should have given, given you two. I don't really feel like this should have been just a one -er, um with a dust bag. But hey, you know, you can't be beggars, can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. So yeah, so we're gonna close those up. So the next piece that we will be unboxing, the next piece that we will be unboxing, first of all, it did not come in a hat box. It didn't come in a hat box. So I'm mad about it. It did not come in a hat box. So we, so, so, so that right there is gonna tell you. Like Farfetch tried me, um, the hat is produced and manufactured in the Ukraine. So a fun fact that you can learn that I learned as well, Farfetch had this package held in customs for like a week and I started to panic because I thought it was actually lost and I called Farfetch to, and I got a little spicy and they, they educated me and let me know that because um, of some of the, the rules and regulations that we have with Russia and the Ukraine, um, things from certain items are not permitted to be shipped to, shipped to us here in the United States. So they had to call and figure out where exactly this hat was manufactured in order for it to get shipped to me. So if you are, you do plan on ordering this hat from, you know, we're going to speak about the brand. I do recommend if you do order it through Farfetch, if you order it through their site, there's always, always a 14 day turnaround. Sometimes they can instantly ship the things out to you, but the like the really extra fly hats are always a 14 day turnaround. So if you do order it through Farfetch, I would recommend that you... Have a look out for that to the, the say that your house, my, my hat was in customs in Memphis. I, and I was like, how did y'all let it get all the way here until y'all was like, I couldn't even really get it. Like, what if I couldn't have gotten it? Would y'all have shipped it back to them? Like, y'all let it get all the way to Memphis before y'all was like, oh, wait a minute. Y'all may not be able to get it. So, um, I will, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this. We're definitely going to talk about this. Razan Baginski. Razan Baginski. Razan, 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 Razan Baginski. Class. Like, I could, I could patent leather. If I could patent leather, you, I would. It's like I'm just playing, but I absolutely love patent leather. So, patent leather was a must. So, we sit in here. So, mm -hmm. they gave me all this extreme tissue paper for it. Y'all ready? 
Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? the color it is a dark mint green with a patent and leather patent leather brim and if you see here it has their signatures then in like embroidery and stitching of of rb for their sign and then it, on the other side it has this nice like little situation i'll say it's just like a little x but it's their signature thing that they do it is bagged and tagged baby so it is authentic Yes, 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 yes. We love, we love, we love an authentic brand new piece. Yes, yes, yes. And inside we did have some, they did add some tissue paper, so we're gonna take it out. Now the sizing that I got in this was a size large. This is a large. They do have some of their hats that they sell on the site that come into a size extra large. I do have a sew-in on my head. I do have a sew-in, but the way, oh! <laughs> So I'm hoping here. Let me see. Oh no, it doesn't even get the makeup from your head on it. So the sizing, would I have gotten a larger size? No, I would not have gotten a larger size. Um, like I said, they do sell their hats in extra larges. Now, for my girls who wear far, let's talk about my girls with my wigs and my girls with my sewings and my girls with my shortcuts. So listen, if you do plan on wearing a wig, you have to remember that I do have a sew-in. My sew-in is extremely flat. So I would say that if you um, measure, first of all, measure your head. I did measure my head. So that's how I gauged that it was, it was like 28 between 36 inches. That would have been a large, large. So measure your head and think about what hairstyle you're going to wear. I do not recommend you wearing any hairstyle that is giving too much value. So either you're gonna do a bust down the middle straight or you're gonna do a side part with a swoop or some type of situation, but I don't recommend um, you doing anything that has that has too much value because it is giving snug. It's not giving like too snug, but it is giving snug. It definitely is giving snug, but it is, <laughs> it's definitely a vibe. Um, I do plan on styling this. I have like several things that I plan on wearing this with. Like I told you, I do plan on ordering at least one more hat for the season from them. They have so many fly hats. Um, they have the Teddy material hats. And I really do think that I'm going to order me one of the Teddy material hats. Um, it's just, it's bomb. It's just definitely bomb. It's just definitely bomb. I hope my little dude ain't toe up. But I, like I said, I, hold on, let me make sure I'm situated here. Like I said, I do recommend that this is this hat was five stars, like I told you. Um, you can see the size and inside it is a lot. Is that upside down? That may be upside down, but it is a large and it is the tagging is in the inside. Um, it is. I just had to have a pause for a minute. I just had to get up and go look at myself in the mirror because baby, this hat. So, the two, this was my favorite of the unboxings. I feel like the Chloe's were definitely just a signature piece that I needed for my closet, but this hat was definitely the absolute bee's knees. So, like I said before, I do recommend if you are a wig wearer or a weave wearer or a big hair wearer that you get a size large to extra large and also measure your head. They do instruct you. I don't think they have instructions on measuring your head, but I will tell you, you will take your measuring tape here from the center of your head and go all the way around and measure and that will be able to help you determine your sizing. But this is a large and like, it's it. It's definitely it and it was worth the price point it definitely is a hat that I plan on wearing a thousand times and I do plan on ordering another one um it's just it so I'm so happy that you joined me on housewife Sunday unboxing Woo! and I'm just glad that you are a part of the family and that you guys continuously support me make sure that you subscribe and that you got a whole lot of area 
to put comments. Put some comments. Tell me if you've bought any of their products before. Tell me if you've had any issues with sizing. Let the girls know because girls are waiting to buy this nice dope hat. Um, but a lot of people have been concerned about the sizing. But like, I just want to let you know that the sizing is absolutely amazing if you measure your head and if you get a large and extra large. I noticed the extra larges are only sold on their site. I will link their site below so that you're able to go on the site and look at all of their fly pieces. And I love you so very much. To the moon, to the moon, to the moon and back. And I will see you next Housewife Sunday. Bye.